sugar, spice, and everything nice. What's up you guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video, to a new vlog. So as you can see by the title of this video, I am back on keto and a low carb diet. Yeah, 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 she's back. She's back, she's back. I'm gonna go back to what I know and what works for me. I am on a journey this month on a glow up journey for myself. This is like a personal thing that I got going on with myself and I'm still doing the semaglutide. Also this month I am going completely sober. So I am not drinking this entire month of August. The goal is to do it until my birthday or at least a week or two before my birthday so I don't completely black out on my birthday on my birthday trip. We'll get into that a little later but I have some things going on this month so I have been drinking since I started the semaglutide and I don't know if maybe that's kind of not made it really work for me so I'm going to up my dosage again and this month is basically, basically going to be the last month to see if it works or not and to see if it is meant for me. My camera's going to run out of battery. My camera's going to run out of battery and it's going to piss me off. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. My camera charged a little bit, but I don't remember what I was talking about. But I think what I was talking about before was that. I forgot what I was talking about. That I'm doing keto again, maybe? I, I, this is what happens when you have to let your camera charge and you forget, you lose your flow. Basically, I, I don't feel like talking. I've done so much content already for the past two days. I'm fried. TikTok is my main focus right now. YouTube is still obviously a focus, but it's not my main focus right now. So if you guys ever want to catch me, you're going to catch me at least every day or every other day on TikTok. I'm doing so much content for TikTok. And this content is also going to be on TikTok, but I think you'll get more in-depth videos on YouTube. So yeah, you guys, I'm back on keto. Let's see how this goes. I have a lot of goals before my 29th birthday because I did have kind of like a moment uh, last week or something like that of where I'm like, holy shit, it's going to be my last year of my 20s and like, what have I done for myself? You know, other than have a shit ton of fun and live, which is so super important to me, I feel like now it's coming to a point where I've had enough fun and we need to do something else. The fun is always going to be there. So it was a really nice moment i also had one of my friends really help me get into that and she kind of opened my eyes to something that i it was always there but i never really saw that i thought was something else and i'll talk about that maybe like in a live or something with you guys i don't really feel comfortable having it on the internet on like a video here i'd rather it be on a live and it's in and out you know what i mean you guys know i always talk freely about literally everything on my lives on my keto gone glam instagram account because i don't go live on my personal account because it's all people that i grew up with and people in my city and i really don't want to talk to them basically you guys i just feel like i need to do better for myself and i want to prove to myself that this month i can do those things especially stay sober for the month of august i've done it before i've done it back in 2020 i did a whole month without drinking and i felt the best and obviously who knows what's gonna happen after i am sober for a month obviously i'm not gonna be sober for my 29th birthday and we're just, we're just gonna go from there and i'm excited because i feel like i've always been the girl that had a lot of potential the girl who was almost there and i feel like i've had things so close and i've had it and because of not being able to have discipline within myself they just fade away and i'm very self-aware and i'm very self-aware of the things that i do and why i do them and it's just a lack of i just kind of don't want to do things and i need to learn discipline within myself so these goals aren't to prove to anybody else but myself because i'm done having that in the back of my mind as being the girl with so much potential and almost having it but never getting there i want to get there and i will get there because i always do i always get out of the mud i always make it through and everything that i put myself really dedicated to i've done this is personal within myself i'm really excited for it there's been times where i've done things and i've said this but i'm pretty sure i've said this in plenty of other videos where i'm like i need to do better i need to do better i need to focus i need to focus and i'm i don't really believe it i just do it because i feel like i have to but this time i feel it literally it's such a weird feeling in my soul that i'm gonna do it and my life is going to completely change during this time period like i just feel it in my heart and it's so exciting because i'm already making myself proud since the month started first day of the month i already knew that this month was going to be different we're going to do it you guys you're going to see a lot of changes in me and as i just because i personally want to see changes in myself and i want to progress and i want to see better for myself and i want to feel better and produce better content and just be more serious 
about myself and level up and have personal growth and have a glow up where I'm like, holy shit, this was a glow up. Continuing on to the video and to what we came here for is a ketogenic low carb grocery haul it's more like snacks really because my mom like buys the produce and the meats and i buy the other fun stuff my problem is, is when i go to work i we can have chicken tenders and fries all day or anything in the kitchen and it's not healthy so i need to take snacks so i can have there and eat since i'm out in the sun my body gets really hungry and really really like you know tired yeah and also when i'm home and stuff i'm a snacker mm, keto works for me so we're gonna do keto semi-glutide and no alcohol this month so let's start off with sprouts so first thing is which i'm the most excited for cinnamon raisin bread i grew up with cinnamon raisin bread toasting it up with a lot of butter summer girl she is snoring so loud 45 calories per slice and three net carbs and it's 100 plant-based and i've tried this brand before with their low carb bread but it's really expensive and it tastes like any other low carb bread but i've never seen low carb keto friendly cinnamon raisin bread sugar-free candies from joyride i've never tried this brand i always try the other brand of sugar-free candies it's 60 calories and six net carbs for this entire bag i got sour bears and sour worms i love sour candy anytime i'm craving something sweet it's usually always something sour i don't really like sweets or chocolate i love sour stuff so i wanted to try something new my mouth literally just got like watery so let's try one look how cute Mm. oh my god so the flavors are front porch lemonade watermelon wizard and hawaiian paradise i think i just had hawaiian paradise oh my god these are so much better than the other brand no offense i need to stop mm. this is also not sponsored by the way but if joyride you want to sponsor me baby i'm right here they have such a better taste than like regular candy and these are sugar-free mm. next we got roasted seaweed you guys know how i feel about seaweed snacks they were these were 150 at sprouts i thought they were really cheap and they're big the other bags like at Publix and stuff like that are smaller and they cost more so i got teriyaki and spicy i also got this catalina crunch cheddar crunch mix and this comes with catalina crunch cereal chickpea pretzels cheese crisp and cashews with a cheddar seasoning i've tried the spicy catalina crunch snack mix but it was really spicy kind of called my attention i already opened them so good the best snack ever i have these high key soft baked mini treats these are banana nut muffin ones i love everything banana flavored i feel like i've tried these before but i don't remember if i like them or not obviously bananas are not keto friendly you could try to put them in your macros but realistically i don't think it works yeah i saw these and i just wanted to another sweet tooth thing i also got these pork rinds these are my favorite pork rinds of all freaking time these are so good they're the jalapeno cheddar ones i can eat this entire bag and usually when it comes to pork rinds they're all right i like them but i don't it just depends but these oh these are so good i also got these enlightened keto bars and these are caramel dark chocolate peanut they're two grams of carbs per popsicle popsicle or per bar and they're 210 calories these are so good i hate low carb keto friendly diet ice creams i hate the texture i hate the feeling of it in my mouth like it's just they've never been enjoyable to me let me know if you guys have favorites but i've always enjoyed low carb keto friendly ice cream bars i like the texture of it a lot a lot better my humble opinion i just enjoy these more better than the pints i also got this crystal light oh the light is like in my face citrus things that you put in your water except this one has caffeine that's probably why i'm really hyper right now because i usually do not have caffeine this late but hopefully i'll be able to edit all of this footage because i've filmed like four freaking videos today really proud of myself for that one this tastes like a watered down high c like the little boxes that you get when you were a little kid or the one that you get at mcdonald's and i love high c juices so it tastes just like it i wonder if there's one without caffeine because then i can't have this like at all times of the day i got gatorade zeros you guys know i live off of gatorade and i got fruit punch and cool blue fruit punch is actually my favorite gatorade flavor you guys didn't know i got pepperoni with 50 percent less sodium because i said why not i wonder if they taste different but I like salty pepperoni, but also if you can have it with 50% less sodium, maybe you can't even tell me. The big low-carb tortillas. I remember when I first started keto and doing these videos, I would say I can't wait until they make like a big burrito tortilla size. And we finally have them. Isn't it great? Five net carbs and 80 calories for this humongous thing. And then I also got the small ones as well. I got some sliced up pepperoncinis and sliced up jalapenos because I love eating these with all my meals. 
It just depends on what day it is. And yeah, you guys, that's basically it for my haul. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes waiting for my camera to charge. So I'm a little fried. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos every single week. Always remember to be kind to one another. And I will see you guys on my next one. Mwah. <laughs>